Soil makes me feel good. I don't like dirt, but I love soil. <laughs> um, yeah, I love I love soil, uh, the smell of it, the feel of it. It's been my life. I've always been a dirty little kid since I was really young, you know, and that's kind of naturally ingrained. Why do you think every kid always wants to play in the dirt? Because it's inside you or whatever. Just some of us suppress it for part of our lives, and hopefully we get back into it. So, yeah, I'm a soil guy. Healthy soil makes my heart sing because it... If everything is healthy under underneath and below the ground, then you know everything's going to be healthy above the ground, and it just kind of spirals out from there. Right now, you have a whole community of really beautiful food and vegetables because there's healthy soil. And soil builds community before anything else. So you got to build it on a small scale, and then it will grow out, and you can see it. Soil makes me feel alive and like I'm doing something. My hands are working. Like it's gonna feed me, we nourish each other, you know. Hungry. Soil makes you feel hungry? Can you elaborate? <laughs> I don't know. Happy, especially when it's fluffy and wet and kind of like, you know it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah. Now, dry, 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 dusty soil is kind of sad, sad soil. Joyful. It's like, what do we want to put in it? What do we want to learn about what's underneath that leaf or underneath that plant? What can we plant once that plant's done? What's the next thing? It makes me feel like I want more of that under my fingernails <laughs> and under feet the ground in experience that we all need to have. Yeah, it makes me think about community. Not only the community of people that are standing on top of the soil, but the community in the soil and how we can learn more about each other. It makes me feel hopeful because I know there's a lot that I don't know about it. <laughs> and I think in that potential mystery, it can um, create healing that I that I myself in isolation have no chance of doing but partnered with the soil I feel hopeful that we can make amends with our mother it makes my feet feel happy there's nothing like soil to walk on with your bare feet that's for sure it makes you feel relaxed and feels like uh, feels like I need to walk on some right now after this concrete that makes me feel uh, hope, hope for the future. I, I've got two little boys over there and if we don't fix it, we're, they're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> it's important for foods to grow. It's pretty warm and fuzzy, I gotta say. It makes you wanna dance like a nematode. Soil is what I'm made of. I am a human being. <laughs> <laughs> and I love soil and I like to connect with soil it equalizes me and grounds me I also believe in earthing and so if I feel bad I need to go lay on the soil so I will do that and in the winter I can put down a tarp and lay right on wet soil and I'm still getting the benefits of earthing right through the tarp I like soil that's healthy I love the smell of actinomyces when I was in microbiology, my teacher says, you stop it or it'll start growing in your nose. <laughs> because I would open the test tube and smell it. I just, because it smells like the forest after the rain. Yeah. And I love soil for that. And I love remediation, what soil can do to capture other toxins that we've like spilled around. I love how it's a, a environment for mycelium. I love like that mushrooms do these bursting fruiting bodies I love, I love soil I cannot help it <laughs> and I feel like when the environment and when soil is unhealthy it's an indication of me to look at my own health mm. and I want to revitalize and regenerate and remineralize the soil because I know that's gonna regenerate revitalize and remineralize me <laughs> remember when we were kids we used to eat the herbs. We did everything. We made herbs cakes. We made earth soup. You know, 
know, the earth is so important. We are the earth and we're part of the earth. We, that's why we have to keep it organic. I love to get my hands in it. And um, I had an opportunity to make adobe uh, for a, a mud brick house. And stamping my feet in the mud felt like it was really getting in touch with an ancient part of myself. And um, my uh, understanding of soil has only grown from that experience, which is about 20 years ago. And uh, coming to get, get to know like the life, the diversity of life in it, it's, uh, it's powerful learning about the microcosmos. Oh, I love it. It makes me feel like I'm in touch, in touch with the earth, really. <laughs> you want more? <laughs> If you feel comfortable. Wasn't that enough? <laughs> no, I the soil. I love. I've I've always loved putting my hands in the soil. You know, if it's a hot day, it's cool, and if it's a if it's a cold day, it's colder. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's just you know, there's there's all this life in there. You know, there's all this vibrancy, and it seems like a dense thing, like a rock, right? That is a you know, that is a rock, but it's not. It's alive, and. I can sense that when I'm planting. No, but I you make a little hole, put, drop the plant in, you firm the soil around the plant. It's all alive. <laughs> uh, the, the soil it makes me feel so comfortable, happy, and lucky. Yeah. How does soil make me feel? Uh, I don't know. Soil it makes me feel super alive makes a uh, you know just smelling it the sense of you know the aromas throughout the different seasons you know the different smells of soil it's just uh yeah it's to me it's life that's what it is you know it makes me feel nourished it just makes me feel connected to the earth um i love it you know it's the source of everything that keeps us going couldn't live without the soil and uh the plants that grow in the soil how does soil make me feel? Yeah. <laughs> um, let me count the ways. There's so, so much that it makes me feel. I guess, I guess it makes me feel like more in my body and less in my head. It helps me get down into the intelligence in my toes. And turns out my toes are really smart. <laughs> when I can feel down into them. Yeah, that's how soil makes me feel. I yes. love it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you nailed it. Soil, oh man, soil, it just, it brings me back to like my childhood of like digging in the dirt in Maine, you know, like I would play in the forest. I mean, Maine is just like, you know, there's forest everywhere, you know, I grew up in the forest basically. So it's just like that, that smell of, you know, the rich forest floor and just like sticking your hands in it and crumbling it. It's just so nostalgic, you know. Soil is my element actually in the five element theory of traditional Chinese uh, medicine and I, I, my body belongs to the earth element so soil makes me thrive, I need to touch the earth, I have to be grounded and we make tons of soil together with millions of worms. Yeah, that's what I do. Soil? Uh, <laughs> really good. Um, I feel like I've got the, you know, the old the old term is the tilt gene. So you know, you got to return to that. So you know, you got to keep the soil to keep everything. The soil that's the foundation. So literally, it starts there. So, yeah. That's such a great question. I mean, the first what I have to say, what I often say in permaculture is, it depends on the soil and um, where I am. But I mean. That also makes me think of my childhood, like one of my earliest childhood things. And my mom often tells me about this and she like took pictures of me, so it's funny she documented it. But it was like me, this is a little kid, just like super young, like baby status, digging the soil, eating some of it. And so um, I don't remember that moment, but I just love seeing it and thinking about it and then think about how that influenced me, you know, now and today. But being and working in good, healthy soil just feels so amazing because you're so 
connected to the soil. I mean, I am so similar to the soil and the plants are so similar to the soil and we're just all so similar in so many ways and when you have that healthy soil you get to realize that and you just feel so happy and grounded and connected to everything around you. So I love the way soil feels. <laughs> Not dirty though, nice and clean. <laughs> Well, it makes me feel happy because I like to rub my feet in it. Keeps me grounded, as they say. <laughs> it's not dirt, it's soil. But it's still dirty on my feet. How soil makes makes me feel? Yeah. It makes me feel comfortable. You know, everything starts in the soil. So you plant a seed in the soil and it cradles it uh, in its goodness. and. The nutrition from the soil is what helps that seed sprout into something that's amazing. And to plant a field of, 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 of squash or corn or for the Heirloom Expo in years past, we planted upwards of 400 varieties of tomato, 200 varieties of squash and maybe 100 varieties of gourd. And to see all these things take on their own personalities being planted in this rich soil where these seeds grow into these plants with their own colors, their own tastes, their own varieties. It's pure amazing that the soil cradles these, nurtures these. All you do is add water and they take on these incredible uh, trace minerals and, and vitamins all coming from the soil. It's beautiful. Alive. <laughs> um, very, very nourished, good. healthy, um, healed, yeah, actually like, healed. Mm. Because I feel like so much of uh, what's available for us out there is devoid of life and devoid of minerals. And when you get into real soil and you're eating food that's growing in something that's alive, you're just getting so many more nutrients and minerals. And I can honestly feel the difference if I'm eating from my garden, which is a blessing from my friend Mia that she's created and um, helps me with, um, or whether I'm just eating from like a restaurant with just like, you know, kind of conventional food. I, I know right within hours how my digestive system is responding to what I put in. And it really is, is um, been the healing for me is to have food grown in real, living, biologically active, nutrient-dense soil. I love it. Yeah, it's life saving. We come from the soil and we return to the soil. And so there's magic there. We're not in control of our own lives. We don't necessarily 100% direct our path. We're led. We're inspired. So the soil is a reflection of that. So the soil is the substance of our life and it's also the representation of how we should live our life. It's so, so many lessons. It's the teacher and the substance of all things. Without it, we don't we don't have sustenance. Without it, we don't have... I mean, the soil contains all the history and all the future. So we, yeah, the soil is just... It's all about the soil. We could talk forever about the soil. And everyone would have a different story. <laughs> soil makes me feel like I'm connected to the origin of myself as I'm a present human and I will be future humus as I'm composted and return to the actinomycetes and mycelium and your cilium will join together in a flocculated aggregate of the soil salvation with the sugar solution to the sunlight. We are one.